as the light faded on what has been anxious Thailand's longest day, the appearance of this ambulance with an escort heralded a breakthrough. We knew each child had been allocated his own medical team, so this meant salvation for one of them after 16 dreadful days. And then, a few minutes later, a second little convoy. They'd managed to get two of the trap boys to safety. Here you can make out a doctor still working on the child. Two was way beyond anyone's expectations and these exhausted rescuers were delighted. Well done. Well done. What a remarkable achievement this is and what a powerful message it sends to the boys still inside. They now know that for them too, literally and metaphorically, there is light at the end of the tunnel. The young pair were taken to a makeshift landing zone where a procession of military personnel and medics could be seen carrying them by stretcher to a helicopter. It's only a short flight to the best hospital in the nearby town of Chiang Rai. Then there was more to follow. A third and a fourth ambulance would leave the mouth of the cave complex. At last, the regional governor here had something to smile about. He told a news conference late tonight that he had seen all four children and they were fine. It was the arrival of heavy rain here that forced the governor's hand. So when he appeared first thing this morning, he made this announcement. D-Day for the 12 boys and their coach and for the brave divers who'd volunteered to go in and get them. When it came to it, they would walk, wade and scuba dive, a distance of two and a half miles. The crack team of lifesavers is believed to include six Britons, among them John Volumthen and Rick Stanton, the pair of heroes who found the boys last Monday. Incredibly, they guided four novice child divers through waters that killed a Thai expert. It may have been long, but it was a good day. John Irvine, ITV News, Chiang Rai, Northern Thailand.